I loved the programs that I used to see when I was little. And they'd be talking on television or on radio. That's exciting. 75-year-old Joe Mayotte spends his days programming at a local Christian radio station. I'm the program director here, that's what I do. But he actually remembers the good old days rather well. The early years of his broadcast career, including a stint as Bozo the Clown on TV in the late 60s. I worked at channels 3, 6, and 12, and then I wound up here. But um, most of the programs... Within the first few minutes of our chat... But the big ones like you th th ch uh, channel came the first sign. That's the Alzheimer's right there. I'm stuttering. And, uh, I'm not an idiot, but sometimes it, it messes it me up. Despite the diagnosis over four years ago, Joe hasn't quit work. At first, it, I, I, it scared me because I thought I was going wacky. And he certainly hasn't given up. The worst thing you can do is to get upset and be, you know, pounding on the table or something. Instead, on that table, he occasionally keeps cheat sheets with reminders and names. When, when we came here, you told me what your name was. I couldn't put a gun to my head. I couldn't tell you what your name is. Right now? Right now. I'll do, I'll, you'll do it again and, and so on and so on. But it, it may come back on its own? Absolutely. Only seven minutes after we met, no, it's no, I, it's, Doug Warner, we were meeting again. Joe says he can't help it when the names and faces, but it's just zoom, 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 come and go all on their own. I have about 18 or 20 new people a month that come in because they have memory problems. Dr. David Henry knows Joe and is one of the premier Shreveport doctors when it comes to treating and managing Alzheimer's. It's a processor speed. Dr. Henry says the brain's ability to process naturally slows down when we get older, but when Alzheimer's sets in. Early signs are persistent similar memory problems, and it's short-term memory. I'll be okay with that for a while, but later in the day or tomorrow, I may not have any idea who you are. But many long-term memories will remain intact, significant childhood memories or what's called executive skills, like driving a car. Then the next thing, who the heck is that? What have I done? Like right now, I don't remember your name. It happened twice in 15 minutes. Joe says he handles the uncomfortable and frustrating lapses in memory the best he can. My wife and the friends and people that, we, that, that they hear me stuttering, they know what my situation is. I was working in a radio station as a secretary, and uh, he came, got a job there as a uh, DJ. True love is impenetrable like that, isn't it? 47 years. Even a mystery disease with no known cure can't take that away. They have to duplicate that square, writing it down here. Now tests are available for early detection. This one's called the MOCA test. It's a series of naming, language, and recall questions one thing it asks is to draw a clock and make that clock read that it's 10 minutes after 11. Sounds easy enough, but this can mentally push a diseased brain to its limits. It means that your brain has to do several different things. You have to be able to make your eye and the space of that circle coordinate, and you have to decide where the number goes. The two things that keep me going are my wife and my kids, and grandkids. I think it's made us stronger, brought us closer together. But Joe's wife now has a little company. And there's a third one, and that is a friend. That's really all I need. His inner circle just got one person larger. Doug, I got that, I, but I haven't gone any farther. Doug Warner. Warner, Doug Warner. I'll tell you as many times as you need me to tell you. <laughs> I don't mind in the least.